Hey, what's your style of play? I mean, it, is it kind of like play like your hair's on fire? Yeah, man. So I feel like that's the only way to go out there and play. I feel like I'm a physical player that can run, you know, one uh, sideline to sideline. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to come be in Cleveland and happy to contribute to this team. Yeah, contribute how? Could you come in here and start? Um, I feel like, you know, right now, we're, wherever I'm needed, um, you know, if that's the case, and, you know, I'm willing to be the starter, you know, I feel like I got that talent. But, um, you know, I'm coming in and, and trying to find a role. So I, I don't know what that might be. So when Elliot Wolf called you, you know, ball of energy and <laughs> say you're destroying people and stuff like that on the field. Um, where does it come from? Was it that? Was it like that the first time you stepped on the football field? I and mean, what age did you start? And was that always your play style? Yeah, I feel like uh, since a little kid, I've always played physical. I feel like that's how I was taught the game, you know, from my junior All-American coaches, from my father, um, to go out there and play as a hammer. And so it's kind of the thing that's kind of stuck. You know, I go out there, play real aggressive. Um, I know when to be finesse and do some uh, finesse moves and things like that. So, um, yeah. I, I talked to your coach, uh, your head coach, the other day. Right? He, he said that that's my guy. They, that's my guy. Yeah. He, and he said so many great things, but also that hey, if anything, they had to try to get you to play under control. Yeah. Like because you're <laughs> like so energetic out there. Um, how 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 um how much of that was a, a balancing act that you had to figure out? Um, for good and bad. No. Oh, what do you mean? To, the, oh, to play under control? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like sometimes I can go out there and play with my head, you know, on fire and things like that. And sometimes it can, you know, definitely hurt us in, 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 in one way. But um, I felt like once I got that together, you know, I, I only um, forced that energy to use in, in good, you know. And so, um, you know, I feel like my last year, you know, it's kind of really helped me upward, you know. I'm sorry. So, so the Browns? Hopefully that answers the yeah. question. Yeah. Pick two linebackers. One's from Brigham Young, one's from Alabama, and the one that Brigham Young won two rounds earlier. How does that make you feel? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, obviously getting drafted overall is really a great thing. You know, you work so hard, you know, uh, Mac, myself, you know, all the guys that got drafted work so hard to get, you know, get your name called. And so um, to answer, you know, I, I was excited, you know, to get my name called in the third. Um, but, you know, that's not the end. You know, I still got to come here. I still got to show them why they're right of drafting me. I still got to put in the work, you know. I can fall over tomorrow, you know, and hey, he's a bust. So definitely got to come here. I got to get to work. Um, yeah, and, and prove him right, you know. So. Of the three linebacker positions, is there one that is your favorite? Is there one that you're most natural at? Um, I feel like I play all of them pretty well. Um, and I feel like this last year, going to stack linebacker, you know, playing behind the D line, it, I barely got a full season playing linebacker. You know, it was my last year at Brigham. I feel like I'm just touching the surface. Um, so I feel like I, I got to get better at all of them, but I don't really have a favorite one. I like rushing. They they all they definitely have their, their benefits of playing either or. So your, intro, sorry, Jim, your introduction to the defense so far and to Steve Wilkes, what speaks to you? What do you like? What do you feel really suits you? Um, yeah, I feel like one of the middle backers, you know, the Will or the Mike, definitely playing right there, true, true stack position um, is definitely kind of suits me. You know, being able to run sideline to sideline, things like that, being in the, the anchor of the defense um, is definitely a good thing. Did you develop any kind of relationship with Mac Wilson during the combine and that whole process? Um, yeah, not really. You know, we, we saw each other at the combine, um, you know, kind of kind of a just what's up type thing. But, you know, definitely. But since I got here, um, you know, we definitely, you know, got a, got a relationship and you know, we're still getting to know each other and things like that. We're going to go over the defense, things like that, you know, so we'll be teammates. So. Definitely. You, evolved, you evolved and matured a lot off the field throughout your collegiate career. Probably faced more adversity than most. How did that process, or how has that process helped you as you get to this next level? Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's helped me a lot. You're going to run into a lot of tough situations. Um, you know, even being drafted. You know, I'm still going to have bumps. I don't know what it is, but I feel like um, you know being able to overcome adversity, like you said. Um, with whatever it is down the road is going to definitely help me, you know. So that year away, that year of working construction, does that affect how you feel about football in any way? It didn't. I feel like it just gave me more energy, gave me, you know, um, more love for the sport that I, that I, you know, always had, being away for that time. Um, yeah, working construction, you know, I'm, I'm over there pouring concrete, things like that, being away from football. And I'm watching, you know, the TV on the, on, you know, my guys playing, you know, at home on TV, especially, you know, you feel like you could be out there helping them out. Um, 
So yeah, it definitely. So construction, can you like lay tile? I could can do it. Uh, yeah, my I, I feel like I could do it all. You know, I could definitely <laughs> build you a house if you want to. You know, really? I'm good with my hands. You did that much. No, nah, no, nah, I'm I'm boosting. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, I, I'm uh, I feel like my brothers more. You know, my two brothers who are older than me definitely are like, you know, kind of what I explained right now. I'm more of like a concrete, you know, grass block wall type of guy. Um, I still got a lot of learning in that case. I was the youngest <laughs> brother, so my dad didn't teach me too much. He was already, oh uh, yeah, I was playing football. So. so that's your family business. Yeah, you know, definitely want to get into something like that. You know, I got family members who are really good, do great work. You know, so. I, I was reading a story about your um, your wife and when you guys met, and the, the basic kind of message from her her voice in the story was, you know, if you want to have a relationship with me, you've got to get your act together. Was, was it like that from your perspective that you kind of had to set a, a new standard and turn your life around as, yeah. as part of being yeah. with her? Yeah, definitely. I feel like um, over time it just happened naturally, you know, but um, definitely, you know, she comes from a um, good background, you know, great, great family, um, you know, go, good morals, good standards. And so, you know, I definitely, I feel, I feel like, you know, I just, I climbed on up and to our, where I wanted to be in life. Um, so it helped out for, for both of us, you know. Yeah. What year were you out of football? What 2016. 16. Yes, sir. Were you a fan of the NFL at all? Um, you know, to be honest, I really didn't watch too much NFL. I always watched college ball, but I'm a fan of the NFL. You know, I've always been. I always knew that I wanted to get there. Did you know much about this organization at all? I mean, this used to be a punchline coming to Cleveland, and in the last couple of years now, it's like they've completely turned it around. Is that exciting to be part of something like that? Yeah, you know, a lot of people's like, man, you're getting there at the great time and things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here, man. I, there's a good, great um, group of guys in the locker room, you know, the coaches. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm passionate about this stuff, so yeah. How much does it motivate you that, that John Dorsey and the Browns thought so highly of you? You mentioned that you know you, you still had some proving to do. Does it motivate you that they thought highly enough? Oh to yeah, you? you know, definitely. You know that people get to, you know, are definitely watching deeper in film and seeing, you know, this that you know I'm a dude. You know, definitely coming from Brigham and things like that. Um, you could definitely get washed up, but you know, um, the, with the way I did at, at the combine and um, and uh, you know the All Star games, Ella, you know, you definitely people have to go do digging and watch film closely. And so, I'm, I'm excited that, that those guys noticed me. But now I got to you know prove them right. You know, I got to come in here and work and, and show them that you know I'm a guy. How, how did the position switch come about? With, with what? You with, mentioned playing linebacker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, 2017, I played DN uh, for Brigham. And then, um, you know, my coaches just knew naturally, you know, hey, you're, you're a linebacker, we're going to move you back to linebacker. And so that's kind of what happened. Went to linebacker. I played outside for the first five games. And then, uh, then, then the last eight I played, uh, or yeah, the last like six I played, or seven I played um, inside linebacker. Are you yeah. the toughest of the Taki Taki brothers? I am. I am, <laughs> man. I tell them all the time, you know. Those, good, those guys, they do, they do labor work and they're really tough. You know, you got to do, you got to be, you know, you really got to, really get into it to, you know, do that every day from 7 in the morning to 5, you know, so um, but I feel like I'm still tough. Yeah, I'm still tougher than that. It's because of it. Yeah, I feel like I definitely, I definitely got the Scrubbing little brother, brother, yeah, little brother treatment, you know, growing up, and so those guys made me tougher. You had, you had such a unique path here through college and being out of football. At what point did the NFL feel like a possibility? Um. Yeah. Even th even though my journey was was rough, I always knew you know, one day I'd get back. You know, I'm gonna make it to the NFL. That's always been, you know, like I said, a childhood dream. Um, I feel like leaving high school. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the NFL, man. And uh, even though I was going through all this trouble and stuff like that, you know, leading up to here, I always had you know the goal of getting there. So yeah. When you, oh, sure. Yeah. Um, when you when you were out. 2016. You were staying around the team, right? Yeah. Okay. So I was out 2016, but I was still living in Provo. Um, you know, my brother still lives. He lives in Utah. So, um, you know, I was working in Utah, but I was still around the team. Sometimes I'd come around, you know, watch practice, things like that. When they're playing a great team, you know, that week, um, they got like a, they have a third floor and it's like a window, big window. Um, and our practice field is like right there. And so I'd go up there and watch from there. Sometimes I'd go outside, but you know, that could kind of feel thing. But I was still around the guys, you know, come around here and there. Um, 
Yeah, I'm still around the team. There's an, and there's a transition with the new coaching staff. Were you really grateful that they gave you that chance to come back? Yeah, you know, I was really great. I'm still, you know, oh, Coach Kalani and his staff a lot of, you know, you know a lot of credit because, um, you know, when the coaching switch was happening, I, that's when I ran into my last incident. Um, and so Coach Kalani's coming in fresh. You know, he sees a guy that's gotten trouble, you know, for his fourth, fifth time, whatever the case may be. And um, he could just be like, hey, man, uh, I, I, I'm coming in fresh, and I don't know who you are. You know, let me just kick you to the side. But, you know, I remember being in his office, you know, pleading, like, you know, please, begging, tears and stuff. So um, I really owe that guy, you know what I mean? That's my dude. Those are still all my guys. You know, I'm really close with Coach Kalani and also Bronco them, and, you know, in Virginia. Yeah. You pretty much just answered my question, but I was, I was curious as to when you came back, did you have to have that talk with your teammates or the, the coach guys on the team that, hey, you guys can trust me. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a change man. I'm going to be different from now on. Yeah, um, I always had a good relationship with the locker, with, with the locker room, and with the, the guys in there. So I, I really didn't have to do no explaining to them. You know, I always had that that uh, bond. So um, yeah, not not really talking to them, but they did want to know what was going on. So I definitely received calls from them and things like that. Hey, so. we saw some tape too of um, the Wisconsin game last year, which was pretty early in the season for you guys, right? How much did you build on that? Because I know you had a, a lot of tackles and were all over the field. Was that like a, a nice momentum builder? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel like uh, that game. Um, you know, even the two games before, you know, I was still learning the, the, the stack position. I told you I finally got a full year playing, you know, stack linebacker. And so I feel like that game kind of like showed me like, you know, you can do this every week and you can do this for a long time. Um, so it definitely gave me momentum and, you know, more energy than I already have. You know, I'm an energetic kid. So, um, yeah. What was your mindset? What was your mindset about that game like heading in? Was that a was that a big moment for you? Because as I understand, Wisconsin handled you guys. Yeah, before I, and was that a were you really fired up for that? I was one? really fired up. I knew that they're going to come in, pound the ball. They do it every week, and then especially you know they're thinking BYU. They're the number six, six team at that time. They're going in real high, and so you know I feel like just not myself. The whole team, you know, the coach staff was like, let's let's go prove our worth. You know what what we can do. Um, I feel like BYU is kind of a physical team. They got all those poly kids, um, you know, up front, you know, those big bodies who can hold gaps and things like that. So I feel like they matched up well. And, and um, yeah, we got the W. It was awesome. Coach said in that year away that other schools came trying to get you. Um, why, why stay at BYU? Yeah, you know, I, I definitely had some other options, but uh, I wanted to, you know, right my wrongs at BYU. You know, I'm an LDS kid. Um, so I feel like going back over there and, um, I feel like if I left, you know, it's kind of like, ah, oh, the talk talk here. I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like me going back over there and proving I could do it over there, showing my change, things like that. Um, now I leave there with a clean slate. Things are great, you know. It's a big story.